हॅलो एव्हरी वन आय एम मिसेस ऐश्वर्या रायकर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कम्प्युटर सायन्स टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस डेटा कम्युनिकेशन अँड नेटवर्किंग बेसिक कन्सेप्ट सो लेट्स प्रोसिड विथ दॅट सो वॉट डू वी मीन बाय डेटा कम्युनिकेशन इट इज नथिंग बट द एक्सचेंज ऑफ डेटा बिटवीन द टू डिवायसेस वाय आर सम फॉर्म ऑफ द ट्रान्समिशन मिडियम सच ॲज अ वायर केबल सो अ इन दॅट अ डेटा कॅन बी एनिथिंग फर्दर वी विल डिस्कस द टाईप्स ऑफ द डेटा बट वेन एव्हर a data communication is about to occur the very important thing is the communicating devices must be a part of the communicating system that is the vital part and those two things are made up of hardware and software that is the vital part now let's discuss few fundamental characteristics of data communication the first is delivery that is nothing but the system must deliver the data to the correct destination that is that data should be delivered to the intended recipient only next is accuracy that is the system must deliver the data accurately the data should not get altered during the transmission after that is timeliness time is a very important factor so timeliness means the system must deliver data in a timely manner and last but not least is nothing but jitter jitter means delay that means the jitter is nothing but the variation in the packet arrival time let's take a example that means you are sending a audio or a video message so you need to take care that the speed at which sender is sending at the same speed the receiver should receive now let's have a look over the components of the data communication so these are the five components of the data communication the first is message that is messages message can be anything that is it can be a text number audio video anything after that is sender and receiver so sender sends message to the receiver so sender is nothing but who is producing the data receiver is nothing but who is going to receive that data and how the sender will send the data to the receiver through the transmission medium now that transmission medium can be anything either it is a, it can be wired or it can be wireless and here protocol plays a vital role protocol is nothing but a set of rules which has to be followed by sender and receiver so this is the thing to be remember let's proceed further as i have discussed earlier let's have a look to the ways in which we can represent the data this is very simple audio that is nothing but a sound or a music video now video can be a continuous entity which we can shoot or it can be a combination of images also numbers text or images now let's discuss the data flow so the first category is simplex so simplex mode is unidirectional that means as you can see in this diagram direction of the data is in one way only that means let's take an example of keyboard and mouse through the keyboard i always used to give a input and on the monitor i am able to see the output so that is nothing but a simplex mode second is half duplex half duplex is bidirectional but as we can see here in this those two arrows are opposite to each other that means nothing but i can send and receive but not at the same time third mode is full duplex as we can see here those arrows are in a simultaneous manner that is i can send and receive at the same time so what is the example for half duplex i can take an example of an walkie talkie and for full duplex our telephone network that is i can say at the same time i can listen that is the example of full duplex now let's discuss about network so what do we mean by network network is nothing but interconnection of set of devices capable of communication so a network can be anything which connects a uh, devices so that device can be anything a laptop or a workstation or a server and connecting device can be a router a switch now these are the criteria of network first is performance that is nothing but the transit time and response time transit time is nothing but the amount of time i required to 
transfer the data and response time is as soon as the data is transfer how much time is required to response and reliability means how much my system is reliable that is nothing but let's have a look in next slide that is nothing but reliability is frequency of failure that means suppose because of any issue if the network goes down then how much time it takes to recover from that failure and security plays a vital role that is nothing but protecting my data from unauthorized access that is the very important thing in network we should take care about that my data should be secure so these are the three network criteria let's have a look to the types of connection it is very simple point to point and multi point point to point means there will be a dedicated link as you can see here only two devices are there and this link will be shared by these two devices only so that's why this is point to point and multi point as we can see here this link is shared by multiple devices now at last we will discuss network types so there are three types local area network wide area network and metropolitan area network so what is local area network basically it is usually privately owned and connect some host in a single office building or campus so in our college office or buildings lan connects together the pc we can take an example of an network which is present in our lab that is our computer lab next is wide area network that is nothing but wide as the name indicates wide wide means what it is a geographical area comprising a region country a continent or even a whole world and last is metropolitan area network it is nothing but a network with a size greater than a lan but smaller than a wan so it somewhere sits between lan and wan so it may connect a two cities together that's why the last point states that it normally comprises a network interconnection within a city that also offers a connection to the internet so that was the basic concepts about the networking